ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel we have another beautiful recipe for you guys today but before we get into all of that please hit that like button subscribe and hit the notification bell down below um, so you can be notified when we have another amazing recipe for you guys we are doing an avocado and veggie hummus loaded sandwich full recipe will be in the details down below now let's dive into it let me know how you like it Starting off with some beautiful sliced tomatoes. We have some beautiful, nice, vibrant shredded carrots. Next up, we have some nice fresh cucumbers for you, straight out the garden. Very beautiful. Next, we have some avocados, which you're gonna slice up for our sandwich a little bit later. Now we have some olives that are pitted and sliced in two. In addition to that, we have some thinly sliced red onions. Now we have some roasted red pepper hummus, which you can either buy at the store or make it yourself at home. And next we got some nice fresh baby spinach. And last but not least, we have our nice um, sweet chili sauce for our spread. All right, so that's basically our, our ingredients together. Now that the ingredients are ready, you just want to divide those ingredients up between our whole wheat bread and we have our beautiful sandwich. Starting with the bottom layer of our sandwich, we're just going to do a nice even spread of our roasted red pepper hummus on the bottom. If you like what we do here, you like what you're seeing, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and join our community. We love to have you. Join us on this beautiful food journey that we're going on. Our next ingredient up is our beautiful olives. I'm quite a fan of olives, so if you love olives, you know how I feel right now. You're just gonna spread it out evenly and we're gonna move on to our next ingredients, which is equally as important and beautiful. So next up, we have our beautiful, beautiful, fresh cucumbers, thinly sliced. We're just gonna lay them on top of your olives. And yeah, those same cucumbers that you picked from your garden and you didn't buy from the store, those are the same ones we're gonna cut up. Next up, we have some nice, beautiful sliced uh, tomatoes. Remember, you can hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper in between the layers, but you get a lot of saltiness from the olives anyways, so it's quite up to you. And for our next ingredients, we have our spinach on top of our tomatoes. And because this is a loaded sandwich, between each layer, make sure you just give a little bit of press on your sandwich just to keep all those ingredients into place. As a side note, I'm using some nice organic um, Ontario source spinach. And our next up is our shredded carrots. As you can see, we're just building the layers. One ingredient at a time. One ingredient at a time. Just build it up, but not too big that you can't eat it afterwards. Next.
next up we have some thinly sliced red onions. Now we're gonna add a little bit more olives. So this is where you're gonna see some of those fresh ingredients gonna start um, appearing back on top of the layer. Like we're gonna start with the olives and we're gonna move on to something else. Hey, remember earlier back in the video when I said I was gonna slice some avocado? Well, here we go. Some lovely sliced avocado on top of your olives. Next, we're gonna add on another slice of tomato right on top of those layers. And we're gonna add a few more olives on top of that. I mentioned how much I love olives, right? Did I say I love olives? I love olives. Um, but yeah, that's what I basically was talking about with the salt and the pepper. You can um, sprinkle a little bit of pepper, not too much salt between the layers because you have a lot of olives in the sandwich and it just it's gonna build, right? So now we're gonna add our spread of sweet and chili sauce on, the, on our top side of our sandwich. And this is basically what's gonna bring the sandwich full circle with all this flavor, right? Now, if you're worried about the sandwich being spicy because of the sweet and chili sauce, don't worry about it. It's uh, You have all these fresh vegetables in between that's going to numb some of that spice anyway. So you're going to get like this tangy, this sweetness to the sandwich. So... And last but not least, we are at our last layer, ladies and gentlemen. You're just gonna add your spinach on both sides and you're just gonna fold it up and that is your beautiful sandwich. Very healthy, very fast and simple to do, all right? Now, I just wanna say thank you guys for stopping by for another beautiful recipe. Let me know how we did down in the comment section below and you might see your comments up on the next video, all right? You guys are amazing. Stay true to the community. We love you. You guys are amazing. And until the next one, we will see you. Peace.